You're back because you love moon phases. Or your teacher's making you watch this. Hey everybody, Dave here. Today we take a deeper dive into moon phases. Remember, we see moon phases because half of the moon is always lit up. The moon phase just depends on how much of that lit up side we can see from our position on Earth. But here's a quick question. How much of the moon can you actually see? And does the moon have a dark side? One that's always in shadow? You have only ever seen one side of the moon with your very own eyes. In fact, the first time human eyes directly saw the far side of the moon was in 1968 on the Apollo 8 mission. And that's because the moon is tidally locked with Earth. It once rotated on its axis like this, but now one side is permanently facing the Earth as it goes through the month. And that's because of the gravitational pull of both the moon and the Earth on one another. And are you wondering what the far side looks like? No? Well, I'm gonna show you anyway. Drum roll, please. But is the far side dark? Was Pink Floyd right? Just look at the new moon face. Is the far side facing the sun dark? So there is no dark side to the moon, only a far side. I guess you do need an education, Pink Floyd. And now for the real next level of the moon phases, the patterns. The moon's phases are not random. Where you find the moon in the sky is not random. When it rises and sets, not random. So if you really understand them, you can use the moon phases like a clock or a calendar. Let's take a look. The Earth has night and day because it rotates on its axis. And as you go from the night side to the day side, that's sunrise. And when you're facing the sun, that's noon, during standard time anyway. And then you get to sunset and midnight all in a 24 hour period. So can a person on the night side of Earth here see a new moon phase here? Nope, they're facing the wrong direction. I've shaded in everything you cannot see from the night side of Earth. So what time will they first be able to see the moon? Well, that's right, sunrise, when they rotate onto the half of the Earth facing the moon. And now I've shaded in everything you cannot see from the day side of the Earth. The new moon will then be highest in the sky at noon, and then people on the day side of Earth will lose sight of it at sunset. Actually, you can't see a new moon. It's dark and right next to the brilliant sun. All right, so the next question. When will the third quarter moon phase be highest in the sky? Pause the video if you don't want help, but here's the moon at its third quarter phase. I'm going to shade the far side of the Earth-Moon system, the side directly away from the third quarter moon. You first see it here at midnight, and it's at its highest at sunrise. Then it'll set at noon. Want more questions? When does the waxing crescent moon rise and set? Here's the waxing crescent moon phase position. I'm going to shade in the side of the Earth facing away from the waxing crescent moon where nobody can see it. It's first visible when you rotate to the part of the Earth halfway between the sunrise and noon at 9 a.m. here. It gets highest in the sky at 3 p.m. here and sets at 9 p.m. there. Now, how knowing all of this about moon phases can help save your life. Imagine you're stranded on a tropical island and it's the middle of a waxing gibbous moon phase, which lasts a week. You somehow know that in one week's time, a cruise liner will be passing by your island at 3 a.m., too far away to see because of the curvature of the Earth. You have no clock, but you do have a flare. How will you know when to fire your last flare so that someone sees it from the ship? Let me know your answer in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and comment. I hope you have a great month.